Good evening everyone and welcome to the third Borough of Broxbourne Awards and it's so fantastic to see you all here this evening. Day in day out, residents across Broxbourne do an outstanding service for the community and really do go above and beyond. And tonight I know we will hear some incredible stories later this evening about what you do within our communities. I'm honoured to be here tonight presenting the awards alongside our sponsors, without whom we would not have been able to put on this event. We received many nominations for these awards. Every person or group nominated deserved to win. So you can imagine choosing just 10 was not easy. However, I'm sure you all agree that those receiving the award this evening finally deserved it. Please welcome to the stage Chex, a charity which helps youngsters, parents, carers and the community. Uh, Chex works with 13 schools with a range of support programmes, including their award-winning growth programme, which tackles mental health and confidence issues in young people. Will you please welcome Alan Such? Alan's a hero to hundreds of children and their parents, and they'll miss his positive, caring approach. Jacqueline Georgiou is from Community Alliance Skills Hub. Lynn Uthed and Lol Hill. They're the community champions at Tesco Extra. Will you please welcome MG Vasiago? Please welcome to the stage Claire, Pat, and Becky Selly. And our next winner is the founder of Waltham Cross Football Club. He also founded Future Cross CIC. He's passionate about community and making Waltham Cross a safe place. Please welcome to the stage Patrick Kanyuka. Peter Lardy, congratulations. From Hoddesdon Boxing Club, Sab Leo. So it's wonderful tonight that we can honor one of the heroes of the pandemic. Glenn Fitzwater was a volunteer vaccinator. After doing a full week's work, he'd volunteer almost every weekend. He set up test centers and he's become a first responder with St John Ambulance. Uh, well, that's it for the awards. It's been good, hasn't it? We've seen some brilliant winners. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of the Peter O'Donnell trio, but let's hear it one more time for all the brilliant winners of the 10 awards at the Bob Awards. 